Hello everybody, it's Sandra from the Funky Pickle Thrifter. We're gonna have a look at some jewelry that I'm about to meet with my jeweler about. So I wanted to do a before video and then after he fixes everything up, we will do an after video. I'll show you what he did and I'll let you know what he charged me. All right, thanks so much for coming everybody. Please like this video, let me know what you think and subscribe to the channel. Let's get started. So let's take a look at some of the items here. Let me just move this so that our focus is a little bit better. First of all, I have this beautiful opal ring that I love. This was a yard sale find. My mother found it. It says 10K, I think, right there. I'll see if I can get it. 10K and then something else. I don't know what that says. Why is my focus being wonky? Okay. So I believe this is probably from the 60s or the 70s, just a guess, but I know that this like bamboo thing was big then. And the reason that I wanted him to take a look at it is because some of these opals seem loose. And I just wanna make sure that this is all good to go. I mean, I have worn it, but I'm, I've been very, very careful with it. But you know, opals you have to be careful with anyhow, cause they can scratch and everything, but yeah, I don't know. Some of these prongs just seem a little bit, um, I, anyway, I'm just going to have them take a look at it. All right. So there is that. This one is a recent find. I got this at a pawn shop. Now I asked the guy if he had any costume jewelry for me. So he, um, oops, sorry. So he grabbed uh, a bunch of costume jewelry for me, but he knew this was real. I mean, I certainly know it's real too. I don't know if it's nine carat. It kind of looks like it's nine carat, but we can test this one if you want. It also came in this lovely old box. There's no name on it, but I love when that happens. So this is just the, the sweetest antique ring. Now this little turquoise thing has a crack. That doesn't actually bother me. I think it gives it character, but this thing is missing altogether. I'm not sure what this was supposed to have in the day. I wonder if it was coral. That's just a, a guess. Not really sure. So I'm going to take a look through some of my loose stones and see if I see something that would be appropriate to put in there. Maybe even a, a gemstone of some kind. Uh, I'm not sure, but I'll bring a couple of different options to show him and he might have something himself. And if he has something really great that he can replace this with too, I might do that as well. So stick around to the end of the video. We'll test this just to confirm that it is in fact gold. What a lovely little thing. And I think for all the jewelry I got from that pawn store, I think he charged me like $50 or something. And there were other pieces there. I mean, just costume, you know. All right, so here is one of the best pieces of jewelry I own. It is this bracelet. I was going to have him fix this, but I needed to find the finding or a finding, not the finding, but a finding for this. All right. So here's all the pieces. I got this item, believe it or not, at an estate sale. And there was a guy there who was selling jewelry and it was overpriced and really overpriced, like stupid. And he had this sitting in a box. So I go, well, what are you getting for this bracelet? And he goes, that's broken. You can have it for $5. So I paid five for this and it is broken and it's pretty badly broken too. And I'll show you this. So this is called a Grand Tour bracelet. This is true Victorian and this is also true micro mosaic. And I think those are called tesserae. I think the singular is tessera. Correct me if I'm wrong. I could be. So what he needs to do is, well, first of all, this was, this was what the weight was. It only had this. It didn't have this part right here. So I found this on uh, something that I had that was broken. I didn't really want to ruin a perfectly good piece of jewelry for it. And it fits reasonably well. I mean, it's not perfect, but certainly oh <laughs> i was just gonna say to you it's certainly not going anywhere but here's wait i have another one let me see if this one might be a little bit better and make sure 
yeah, this is the better one. So let me let me just make sure I get this one away. Okay. So what he needs to do is to um, see how this is there and this one is missing. So this is fits in there and then there's supposed to be one for this. So my jeweler says he can only do things in real gold. So I guess he's gonna have to apply some real gold or hmm, I don't know what I'm gonna do if he says he has to make this whole thing out of real gold. I don't know how costly that can get. But isn't this so beautiful? It's just lovely. Oh, I have one more too, yeah, this one. And I think it's interesting that two of these are the same, I think, right? I thought I had two the same, yeah, there they are. Wow, what a beautiful piece this is. So this will finally, finally, finally be fixed. Now, this is kind of a museum piece. I know that it is in some museum somewhere and it is so fascinating to me that they didn't do this on real gold. I don't know why you'd go through all this work and then not put it on real gold. But anyhow, the way that I see this one online that I found, I'll put a, a picture of it if I can find it again. Um, I probably can't. But what they did is they had a similar thing to this and then they had two chains coming out and then kind of coming together as one. So I'm gonna see if he can do something like that. So here he would have, you know, the, the chain here and that's where the, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure how he's going to do it. But anyway, this is just such a stunning, stunning bracelet. It's one of my favorites. And I know it's worth a bunch of money for sure and I didn't pay a lot for it. So this is very exciting, but I think that it, you know, it really just should should be restored. So we'll see what he says about this. This bracelet needs some help. This is human hair. Now I wouldn't really call this a mourning bracelet, although you certainly could make the argument that at some point in its life it became something that people could pick up and mourn about, right? This one has a little bit of problem right there where the hair is coming out. I'm not gonna ask him to do that. He wouldn't know how to do that. And this one came with a letter, which is really nice. I have a letter with this one from the 1920s. This is actually very well done. But here is our problem right there. So this part broke. I'm thinking this is not going to be worth it. I'm thinking this one's going to be cost prohibitive, uh, unfortunately. But I was just going to check with them just to see. Isn't this a lovely thing? I guess this is just gold filled. Um, hmm, I don't know. I'm probably not going to scratch this one. I think I'll just ask my jeweler. He's got the machine or whatever. I really hate scratching these old pieces. So we'll see. Maybe, maybe not. Some of you may remember I got a jewelry haul from an auction. I paid $70 for seven boxes of jewelry or eight boxes of jewelry. And then um, I, in that lot. There was a lot of junky jewelry. I pulled out a few things I liked, but one of them was a Tiffany Sterling silver bracelet. That was kind of a rare one that I just sold for, I don't know, what did I sell it for? 125 or something. And then there's this. I can't remember if I just suspected that this was gold or if I tested it yet. I think I tested it, right? But we can test it again at the end if you want to see me do that. The problem here is it it's missing something in the middle. I'm guessing there was probably a pearl in there. It's just kind of a guess. But this really is a very, very lovely fleur-de-lis. I love this thing. How pretty is that? So nice. Yeah, I guess it could also hold something. Hold a watch or something. How nice. I love this color too. I love the enameling. So there's that. We'll see what we can stick in there. I'd love to restore this one. I think it's beautiful. This one is also a recent auction find. And then there's this problem. It's sterling. You know, I'm not sure if this one's going to be worth it because I'm not sure how much value this thing has. Like it's probably a 60 or a $70 item, I would guess. But I sure would like it if he could just, you know, close that for me somehow. I don't know if a piece broke off or not. Anyway, I was just going to ask because I love this. This seems like it's probably from the 1920s. 
she's such a pretty one isn't she now this is that lot that I had bought recently and I showed it to you on a video when it was really brand new I had just bought it so let's just look through these piece by piece so I was assuming that they were Victorian, mostly because of the way this thing looks right here. This looks very mid-Victorian to me, oops. Um, but it is in fact Georgian. And we're gonna take a look at these earrings right now. I didn't even know how the mechanism worked on these, but I'll show you. So it goes like this. Uh-oh, can you see that? And then this is hinged. So apparently these all test as 10 karat. I didn't test them. The auction place did. They must be custom made because there's an S on these earrings. These are amazing. So I have been wearing these. I'm a little bit nervous about it, you know, um, because I don't want to lose one, but, and they're very hard to get on and off because you have to put them on backwards. So there is some enameling missing. I'm not going to get that repaired. I'm not worried about that. So this one is missing its little thing. I guess those are flowers, right? So my jeweler will have to make this. It's really light. And I don't know what he's going to charge me. I kind of don't care. I think this one's definitely going to be worth bringing back, uh, especially because I'm keeping them and I want to wear them. So he, we'll see what he charges me. And you know, something like this, like when you're at an auction with a lot of avid uh, jewelry bidders, when something is missing a piece like that, sometimes it can work out in your, like to your advantage because people see that it's broken and they don't want to be bothered kind of thing. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I actually paid a fortune for this set anyway. And now here's the, the alternate bottoms. So I guess we should just do it, right? Since this one's already undone, okay. So this comes off of here, and then you could just put this littler one on. Um, is this gonna be right? I think so. There are some markings on here too. I see that some of the pieces are marked GV. I can't find out who that is. I don't know who that is, but I'm really trying to research these down really hardcore. Um, yeah, I don't know. And also the fact uh, whether they're 10 carat versus nine carat, because the person who put these in the auction said they were nine carat, but the auctioneer said they tested as 10 carat, but that would make a difference as to the country. But let's just take a look at the difference. Yeah, so here's the big gigantic one. That's the one I like, and here's just the littler one. But these little ones have a sitch too. Where did it go? Here it is. So this one's missing its little dangle in the middle. So I'll see what he wants to charge me for that. Um, and that that looks like a Roman numerals, like an I and then a double I. I'm, I'm not sure exactly. I, I really still haven't had a chance to, to fully research these. I think that they're custom made, which is the problem with really trying to find, you know, the exact thing. Okay, so the rest of this, I've, I've got a decision to make, and hopefully he's going to help me, but he's probably not going to help me that much because it is sort of my decision. So let's take all of these out here and see what we've got. Okay, that one's really not a decision. This one sort of is. Okay. And this one's not a decision, but this one is. And then there's this little piece. Okay, so these, I think that these probably don't belong with the other ones because they really don't look anything like anything else there. And I believe, I mean, I have to check that mark, but I believe that I have antique shepherd hook tops to these. So I'm going to have a look and see. I mean, I don't think I have gold ones. Uh, maybe I'll ask him. I mean, he probably has a lot of jewelry parts. It's possible that he has gold ones. So I will, uh, I'll just ask him to see if he has anything. If not, I think I can cover that. Some of these things don't need any work, like this one, for example. There is nothing wrong with this one. There's no problem. I wonder if maybe this was supposed to be like yet another option for this. 
Um, yeah, no, I don't think so. I just think it's too different. Um, but this is really lovely. I love the bird on this one. And I think that mark is, it's either I-H or H-I. I guess it's not what I said before, the I and then the I-I. I. I think it's H-I or I-H. And I know for sure a few of these, or at least one of them, is marked G-H that I could read, like I said. So here's just some little earrings. So here again is the mechanism, the Georgian mechanism. There were definitely markings on this one in the day. I know I saw something, but it's just totally smoothed away with age. You know, un unfortunately, I would love to be able to attribute these to somebody, but, well, I love, I love it anyhow. But here's some of the decisions that have to be made. Let me, I'm still too close. Okay, let me just put these away. Hold on, I'll get these out of the picture very carefully. So this cross, I mean, look at the condition on this thing. How perfect is this? Wow, what beautiful work. I love this hand. Now, it's hard to say if this was originally like this or if somebody did that. Um, I'm going to keep it together because that's how I bought it. I may be selling this one. I'm not sure yet. But, but here's our decision. So as far as this chain goes, it almost seems like there's a couple of dents. Wow, that's actually a really bad one, but some of them have no dents. But you see how there's no finding at the end here? Because I think that somehow somebody just like, I don't know, like this one doesn't have a pendant on it. Well, this is a different size too. Um, and then this, see, this is the thing. I think this name, Amami, I believe this was a very, very common name in uh, the Philippines. That's why I was sort of thinking it might be from that area of, of the world, although I've always thought that Asian jewelry is of higher carat. But in those days, who knows, right? Oh, these beads are different. See, I didn't realize that. Okay, so these have a star thing. Uh, let me just see what this finding is like. I don't think spring rings were around then, so I'm not exactly sure what that should be, but okay, so there is no decision on this one other than, you know, I wonder if this, I mean, who knows if that originally came on here, this pendant on this necklace, but anyway, uh, the, the question really is some of these, um, so we have this one, yeah, this one has no finding, so I'm not sure. Yeah, we got to figure something out on that. And then I guess this, yeah, this has to go on there. And this has no, this has nothing to open and close it. Oh, other than the spring ring. Okay. All right. So I guess this is supposed to go like this. Um, this seems like it's going to be really short though, almost like a choker. How beautiful would this be if this was a choker? Um, no, it isn't a choker. Forget that I just said that. I guess it's not that, it's not quite that um, short. But the thing is, you know, this has to be put back on and we have to make sure it's centered. Hmm. And I got to try to figure out what a proper finding would be. I hate to have something that's not age appropriate on here. Well, that's it. This is what I'm going to do on my trip. I have actually begged him to let me film him uh, fixing some of these things, and he, he really doesn't want to do it. He's a very quiet man. I'm like, I won't show your face, though. It would be so helpful to my viewers if we could watch you do some of the things. So I'm going to ask him that again, but I think we're probably going to get the big old N.O. <laughs> on that. But anyway, uh, stay tuned for the video that I'm going to do after he fixes the stuff and we'll have a look at what he did, what we decided to do. And I'll also tell you what each thing costs. The other thing, I just wanted to weigh these. I'm just curious what the whole collection weighs out as. I didn't do this yet, so let's just see. Oops, so it's nine or 10 carat. Like I said, we're not exactly sure. 
yet. Oh, wait, this isn't that. Hold on. Okay. I don't know. Maybe I got my money's worth just in melt. No, I don't know. Probably not. <laughs> all right, let's see. Oh, I hope this is all going to fit on here. Kind of. We are looking at about 73 grams. I'm thinking that all of these elements are not gold. Like some, some maybe aren't. Uh, I, uh, I don't know. I'm gonna check with the jeweler. He'll definitely know for sure. Here's our testing acids and our stone. I get these on Amazon. I do like this name brand, JSP. So let's check it out. I'm going to be extra careful with both of these pieces because they're old. Uh, looks like somebody already checked, checked that. Look at that big old thing right there. Um, and there, that's not a different color underneath. Let's try a little bit here. I'm going to be careful to not compromise the integrity of the piece in any way, of course. Let me just check for a different color underneath. There shouldn't be, because there isn't in that gouge. And there's not. We'll also have a look at our antique ring, too. This is also very, very delicate. Check underneath. Yep, looks good, looks good. So I'm just going to put this here and this here, just so I remember which is which. So we'll start out with 10 first. I didn't do a very big scratch, so this is not going to be that easy. We'll do 14 next. I would assume that the ring is dissolving in the 14. Let's have a look and see. It is, but it sure is holding steady at 10. I don't see any difference at all. So, all right, so that's 10. And our pin is totally good so far. Okay, I don't wanna do much. And I'll just stick some 14 on there. So we know this is 10 at least. Let's see how it stands up to the 14. Yep, it is. Okay. So that is good information. This one is 10. And this one is 14. Thank you as always for joining me today. I really appreciate it. Please hit the subscribe button and have a great day, everybody. I hope to catch you soon. All right, cheers.